going on everybody? This is uh, first day of actual painting at UMA Unlimited Martial Arts here in Brooklyn. And uh, gonna get started today on this mural. So I uh, projected, uh, projected my drawing, my digital sketch on it a couple days ago. Like I said, today is day one of uh, actual painting. First time doing a, uh, you know, a full making of video like this, but I uh, figured I'd give it a shot and see what happens and hope you all like it. All right, let's get going. Here we are, it's around 12.30, 1 o'clock-ish. Uh, end of day one on the Bruce Lee, Dan Inosanto mural at uh, Unlimited Martial Arts Brooklyn. That's their logo in the center there. Uh, pretty, pretty happy with the progress so far for day one. It's mostly just, you know, getting the basic forms in, getting the basic lights and darks on the portraits done, and uh, putting down the first couple layers to cover up the black, which takes Quite a bit more paint than uh, if you were doing it on white to cover up that uh, that super dark black, especially if you're doing something in yellow. But uh, still pretty happy with day one progress and uh, going forward. Next thing is getting the getting the portraits done. Once you've, or me personally, once I've nailed that in and I know the, the faces, they look like them, the tones are all right and you get a, a good likeness and people recognize who it is, the, the rest is smooth sailing, so. Get started on that tomorrow. All right, here we are, day two at UMA Brooklyn. I am ready to go. I got my paint resupply, thanks to Blick. I got my man bun all set and ready. Let's get painting.
got uh, Dan's face here to a point where more or less I'm comfortable with it to uh, get started on the final skin tones. Had the undertones first, sort of a pale and a bright pinkish, yellow for the highlights, blue for the undertones. Then worked on top of that with a little uh, raw sienna as sort of the base skin tone for him. And uh, now I'm gonna go in with the final flesh tones. But before I do that, gotta mix the paint. All right, skin tones. Uh, for skin tones of any white person, Dan Inosanto is Filipino, so I'm gonna have to go a little darker with the tones than usual. But for anyone light or white skin tone, basically made up of four, uh, four colors. White, obviously, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, which is a red, and Naples yellow. A lot of people like to use cadmium, but I use Naples yellow. It's not as uh, intense as a yellow as some of the cadmiums, but it gets the job done. So using the white, you can hear my GoPro going off in the back, using uh, white as a base, Gonna mix a good amount of those together. Raw umber and purple for the uh, purple and blue for the darks, and then a little more yellow and unbleached titanium for the highlights. We're gonna mix that all together and see what we get. All right, and just like that, you're done. All my Colors mixed, took about, I don't know, a second or two? No, um, this is actually probably the, the least fun part of uh, doing the job is just sitting down and mixing all those colors together. It's not anything too difficult, it's just kind of time consuming. But I uh, got my spare little pad here next to Dan to uh, you know do practice marks and uh, mix little colors and stuff right next to his face and uh, about to get going. Doing the actual portrait, this is the fun part. got Dan where I want him. Uh, still a couple little tweaks and adjustments to make. I gotta also do his uh, finish up his neck, but just worked on that a little bit. And gonna leave it to dry while I mix the skin tones for Bruce.
Okay, so I'm going for like a first person perspective for the brush. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And uh, check out my Instagram at Sean Carlson Art. Link down in the description. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Back to work.